In 1926, Robert Goddard launched the world's first liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. This spurred decades of U.S. rocket innovation. On January 24, 2019, Hypersciences began testing a revolutionary new way to deliver payloads to the upper atmosphere. So I'm Mark Russell, I'm the CEO and founder of Hypersciences, and what we are here today to do is to fly our Hyperdrone 450, which is our largest hypersonic projectile. Our Hypercore engine, which uses jet engine-like propulsion technology, lofts our Hyperdrone capsules of various sizes up to suborbital altitudes. So this technology offers something that rockets or other flight vehicles that we traditionally fly just can't offer, which is instant on-demand access. Unlike a rocket, which aims to fly the payload and the engine together, we've separated the two. Our engine stays on the ground, in fact underground, and the payload flies alone. This allows us to increase the safety, decrease the cost, and decrease the failure rates, making this an incredible aerospace solution. This is a very early stage flight where we're settling the G loads on our electronic payloads to test how they will handle the system as well as our structures. This satisfies our phase one NASA contract and begins to lay a foundation for future flights. Soon after arriving at Spaceport America, the Hypersciences team successfully launched a payload for the University of Texas at Austin. Hyperdrone capsules exit the launch tube at full velocity, so UT's payload was able to reach extreme altitude in seconds, not minutes. My name's Dr. Leon Vanstone, and I work for the University of Texas at Austin. And for want of a better two-word explanation, I'm a rocket scientist. Hypersciences has partnered with the Texas Satellite Lab at the University of Texas, a student-run lab, to help them to develop payloads for this fantastic new vehicle. We had the first test today, and it's been fantastic. We got some really great results, we're really happy with it, and we're very excited to see what comes from the future. Some will wonder why we developed a mobile launching solution, and it's really to offer our clients greater flexibility for their flight profiles. One of our potential partners asked us to fly days back to back at different locations. And this Hyperdrone technology with its ground-based mobile rig allows us to do just that. Being able to offer on-demand launch capabilities to universities, researchers, and the government allows us to serve a half billion dollar market. A big threshold for serving this market is ensuring our hyperdrone capsule and commercial off-the-shelf electronics can survive up to a thousand Gs during launch. So we had a great test today with the hyperdrone 450. We hit all our test objectives. The crew performed magnificently. And now, with our ingenuity and your investment, we're going to be aerospace pioneers together.